Alrighty, uh, back in for round two, and uh, since Shows You Store recently had their 11-11 sale on the uh, 11th of November, surprise, surprise, I uh, picked up a few sets for a you know pretty good deal, so I advise participating next year, but first up we have uh, Dr. Wu's DWE-04E Prime Commander Optimus Prime, based on the Evangelion redeco of Masterpiece, and personally I much prefer, you know, uh, dropping 35 bucks on this little guy compared to, you know, a small bank loan since uh, that's how most of them are going for these days. Now, when I first uh, opened up the box and I looked at him, I was quite surprised at how, you know, how uh, surprising he was for size-wise, coming in at a nice whopping, you know, 5.9 centimeters, which is pretty big. Uh, I mean, hope, or at least average size. But, uh, however, he doesn't make it up for in detail in which, you know, the torso and the legs and the arms have all nice coloring on them. Barely any sort of like uh, over overlay of paint or anything on the plastic, and you know they really went out of their way. And they, they, like for something that's half the size of a core cast, you know, paint the smokestacks and even these little accent parts on the arms and on their hands and all that, even on the, you know like the I guess what you would call them, knees and uh, you know lower half of the arms, and also on the back and all that. You know they really did. I must say a good job and it's worth its money, especially since it's, you know, half the size of a core class, core class, but uh, on to articulation. Now for articulation, he does have a pin in the shoulder and a ball joint, ball joint in the elbow, ball joint on the head, which is full 360 degrees. He does have, I guess, somewhat of an ab crunch, but more or less called a chest crunch for transformation. He does have the simple pin in the knee, so a 90 degree rotation, and a ball joint in the foot for, you know, a bit of foot tilt and all that. Now, I really do like how they managed to maximize the amount of articulation for a figure of such size. Uh, you know, I don't really see anything that they're missing out on. Like, honestly, I can't really see anything other than a maybe a waist swivel, but I don't think that would really be possible for the transformation. But um, with the head, I think they've done... a bit of a better job compared to the standard core class um, Optimus mold with it just having you know a simple ball joint instead of those little pegs that they have which you know whenever I try to use them I feel like they're gonna pop out at any moment he does also include uh, what is it his uh, Energon axe and his ion blaster which comes in a nice translucent clear green which just clip into his hands just like so if I can Try and get that on the camera, just like that. Don't want to accidentally break it. Just like that in there, and it sits nice and snug in the little gaps that he has. You know, a little bit of a uh, little loose in the corners, but overall pretty solid uh, connection, I'd say. He also does come with his ion blaster, which I can't remember if I stated previously, which also does just clip to there, just like that. It's a little bit of a shame that they couldn't uh, paint match it with the rest of the figure, but it's not too much of a complaint, really. Now, for transformation, I think they did a really, really nice job with how smooth and slick it is, or just sliding all the parts around it. Like, it really does feel like they put like time and effort into that, but I guess I'll show transformation here. So, first off, you just want to twist his head around back, connect his feet up through the pegs, just like that, push his feet down. Then you'll want to compact his feet all the way in, just like that. Not much clicking to it. Then lift his arms up, rotate his torso around. Now we have the truck front. Then we're going to pull his, uh, let me say what, lower half out and bring it here. The, I do like the transformation in which, you know, changing it up a bit. Having the wheels stored up here under the uh, arms, which is quite nice. So you just bring those down just like that. Then we'll push his shoulders back in. And then in here, there's a little hole there and a little peg, if you can see that, just in there. And then you push that in there. And you're going to pull it open a little bit and then close it all nice in there. Just do the same for the other side. Just like that and then once the backs all nice and aligned here these two little tabs will come out 
and clip right in there. Give you a nice, you know, seamless, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it, design really, compared to most other core class. But there's that all in uh, truck mode. I did just want to also add uh, before I moved on, there's a bit of a size comparison. But um, they did a, like, just saying, they did a really nice job going through with, you know, having the pinned wheels and having a way more nice closed design, you know, barely any hollow gaps compared to the uh, Core Class Optimus. I'll just put that to the side there, where it's practically Swiss cheese at this point. All holes up there down the side, and it's completely hollow under the bottom compared to the, you know, Dr. Wu version, which has some nice hole, or oh, gap fillers, I'd say, in there. But uh, with that out of the way, uh, he also does come with a just a little trailer with Eva only test type with a nice green and gray accent and of course the purple on the bottom for the plastic with also pinned wheels and for the connection point it is just a little swivel point or peg inside that connects into the trailer just by sitting just like that on there pretty simple but uh, inside he does have a couple of accessories I can just pop it open he does have his little 3x3 three three ramp buggy, or what do you call it, um, little cart that the people sit in. I did see how there is a little hole at the back. I'm not sure, maybe they were thinking of adding something and just cut it out last second, or either I haven't seen, well, I mean, from the pictures, it just isn't really used that much, so either I don't know what I'm uh, talking about, or they've just decided to cut away from that. But he also does have a really nice interior uh, mold with all the nice little slits and all the cable I guess you'd call it on the side unfortunately he doesn't have the little uh, robot part that normally sits up there but he does have these the little mechanical arms from them which just peg in the side there or just you know uh, peg in there and you can have him sitting up but uh, other than that he does have the uh, the more I guess standard sort of shipping doors on trailers which is more of the horizontal two doors opening and all that you can just close but uh what else have i got to say nothing really more of a shorter video with a little tiny figure today but uh i guess that's all good to say uh catch you around see ya